Yeah, I'm back. The pain in the ass is back. Yeah. And um, breaking news. Breaking news. <laughs> breaking news from Blue Blood. I saw the interview too with uh, Crawford talking about, yeah, the fight going to happen in 2020. But what comes after that? But not right now. You see the... You see the bullshit already started, but not right now. What's going to happen in 2020? Okay, now, subliminally, I'm thinking a couple things why he says it's not going to happen right now. It's either because they're waiting on Pacquiao to see what his move is after Danny Garcia and Mikey, uh, um, Mikey Garcia finished fighting Vargas and Danny saw, finished fighting his fight just now, right? But remember, Pacquiao said he'll be back in March and April. And Spencer, he'll be back in May or June. Okay. So it's either they're waiting to see if Pacquiao's going to call Bob Arum to make the fight with Crawford. Because, you know, everybody got to call Bob Arum. Because Bob Arum doesn't reach out to nobody because Bob Arum is Bob Arum. Right? And I explain all that on my other videos. Okay? You can run that back and check it. So that, that, that's the only excuses right, right now. Everybody's trying to see who's going to make the chess move. Okay, but right now on Barbarum and Crawford's side, Crawford already said the fight's gonna happen, but we're not we're not ready yet. Oh, not yet, not yet. Okay, so now we got Spence. His doors are open. He didn't make any fights with anybody else. It's either he's not ready, or he's ready, or he's waiting for Pacquiao, because already. Crawford is talking about not now. So Spencer ain't got no time for not now. Okay? Spencer don't got no time for not now. Spencer's in the gym hitting the mitts. He said he was back. Hey, in that interview, he said he's medically cleared. And he's back in the gym working it. He working it. He putting that work in. Getting that money. Fine. So he's medically cleared. All right? Even though I'm the one, still, I really don't want to see Spence fight Bud or Pacquiao without a tune-up, but hey, that's my opinion, and a lot of brothers say that I'm trying to block, cock block fights and shit like that, I'm just saying that, I want to be, I want Spence after Porter, and Spence fight, I want that same dude, after that fight, to go straight into a fight with Bud and Pacquiao, but since the accident happened, you know, I really, you know, let me tell you something, if Spence come and get a cherry pick right now, I got no problem with it. You know why? Because I want to see him. I want to see him. I want to see that dog in him still. I want to see if he's mentally in here. Okay? That's all I want to see. But if, hey, listen. The man said out his mouth, not the channels, that he's ready to fight Manny Pacquiao. So I got to step back and respect that man, that he said that, and let's move on forward now. Let's not bring the accident up no more. Because the man is medically cleared. Right? Okay, so good. So... You know, <laughs> it's Friday and it's Saturday. Smoking begins, yo. And drinking. But right now, I'm not going to drink. Right now, I'm, I'm trying to focus, yo. Because sometimes my words get tongue-tied and shit. And uh, <laughs> I don't need that right now. So, I saw an interview. Yeah. I saw an interview with Dante's Boxing. Let me, let me look it up right now. Well, I don't have to look it up because I have it set right here. Yeah, I got it set. Come on, you. The title, now in my thumbnail, it's a picture. So if you need to go to Dante's Boxing and check this out, and you can't look for it, just look for the picture. It says, Errol Spence responds to trainer Derek James responding to Terrence Crawford trainer Brian McIntyre. Okay, that's the title. And this was streamed live on February 6, 2018. Okay, so let's run the track. And let's hear some things about the trainer, what he thinks. Okay. And, you know, we all know what happened in the Indongo fight. So, uh, I mean, you know, I'm just... We're going to talk about pound for pound. saying about why he thought he should have got, you know, fight of the year. He should have got yeah. Are, you sure? Are you for real? Yeah. Come on, man. Well, realistically, he is the fighter of the year. I mean, regardless of, you know. Right, yeah, yeah. Saying. He's the people's champ. He's the people's. 
It's coming up just now. I just didn't want to cut too far away and make you think that I was cutting shit up. No, it's that guy. It's coming now. Here we go. Dante's gonna ask him the question. I didn't see any of his fight, but I I heard about him. And I know if he was gonna. They was talking about Crawford being the fight of the year. For getting that unification. But we gonna go. It's coming up now. Here we go. About um, who pound for pound is. So, so is that what you? Uh, I don't, I don't keep, I don't keep up with that. I, don't, I mean, I don't. Because I don't you know, know that's the debate. That's a debate too. Either they said it's either Crawford or Lomachenko. I don't, I don't, I don't know the like what they go off of, what they say this and how they how they justify certain aspects of it. So I don't get into it. I mean, I I, I like to see you know my guy's name in the top, but I don't, I don't, I don't know how you could gauge. You know, I don't, I don't speak in a hypothetical Okay, I'm going to pause it right here. Watch me pause I mean, it. I think it's probable, it's actual, you know, so. I'm going to pause it. Now, he said, the man said he doesn't go by that pound for pound shit. And me and BFT had this, because he was teaching me about this BFT, this um, pound for pound shit. And I Google it, and yeah, he's right. It's mythical. Now, I'm just saying, if shit is mythical... Why do they have to have rules to something that's mythical? If I want to have a pound for pound heavyweight champion Wilder, and then I want to have a pound for pound welterweight, right? Why is something that's mythical and fictional, why I have to have base it on the rules of what the rules are for being a mythical pound for pound? Can you tell me? I try to explain this shit to BFT. You know, sometimes he rambles a lot, but it's his platform, and I give him the respect, and he teaches me a lot. See, that's the thing with your brothers, yo. They got too much pride. You can't argue with another brother and then be like, we cool, okay? Y'all gotta be with these fake channels with your stupid ass comments and then run somewhere. Not me, yo. You check my channel, it's real. It's always been real. 7 8 say, oh, let me see, this, is this guy, is this Capsule Fool? Oh yeah, this is Capsule Fool. BFTC, is that, oh yeah, it is Capsule Fool. Cause I don't have no ghost channel. I don't got no burner account. Out of here, man, with that shit. Okay, let's get back to this. So he, let's 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 dissect the shit. He said he don't go by that pound for pound. He don't know what it's based on. You understand what I'm saying? So he's telling the truth. But what he's gonna say now? Listen, I have to get this goddamn cold back in there. Okay, let's go. The, the pound for pound will be settled when Earl Spencer Terrence Crawford fight. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I mean, totally so I, I don't I don't know it because that's an actual fight. I don't, I don't know, I don't know, like, a probability of this guy, that guy. Because it's not like Lama Tango, he's doing the trick of Triple G thing. He's not moving up to fight other people. Yeah. That would prove you're better. He didn't put like this. The best time a fight in the last 10, 15 years, Manny Pacquiao. Not only, not only was he the guy who, 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 who was, uh... Hold on, hold on. Sam Pateta, he was a small... Hold up. I'm about to get a Saffron Sun fucking moment. I'm about to I'm about to lose my shit. Did Derek James say Manny Pacquiao? But he said he doesn't base it on. He don't know what to base it on, but to see who was powerful in his head, Manny Pacquiao? Okay, let's go on. You had him over Floyd Mayweather when it comes to pound for pound. I mean, I mean, well, oh, sorry, well, Floyd did the same thing too. So those, those are the two guys uh -huh. moved up to smaller guys. But Manny moved up from smaller, smaller. But Floyd, Floyd moved up, and he, both those guys were super successful. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's what I basically mean. I mean, when you think about a small guy moving up, you know, and how Triple G wouldn't move up to sixty eight. And uh, this guy will move on to my 40 and fight nobody else either. So, you know, it's like. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. You know, they want everybody to come up to them, come up to them. Yeah. You know. Hey, so um, going back, I, I want right. to go back real quick. Uh, All right. right. Let's pause that. So, what did uh, he said? First thing he said out his mouth. Okay? Out his mouth. Okay? When, you, when a person talks. The first thing will be what they focus on, right? He said the man dominated 15 to 10 to 15 years, and he said that was Manny Pacquiao. He didn't say Mayweather first. Correction, Dante Boxing pumped the brakes on that shit because you know 
His channel is based on all of this right here. And you can't be Derrick James talking about Manny Pacquiao being pound for pound or dominating for the last 10, 15 years. Now, you got, we got we to gotta fix that. What, but what about Mayweather? Oh, yeah, but Waymeather did, did it too. But he did it at 125. And Manny Pacquiao did it at 112, 106. So you see, the first thing that came to his head is Manny Pacquiao. Okay? And then Dante Boxing corrected him, saying, well, you know, Mayweather. Well, and then he said, Mayweather did it too. Okay? So he got both of them as pound for pound. But the first thing that came out of his mouth was Manny Pacquiao. That was the first thing that came in his brain. Okay? So now, do I prove anything? No, I don't. But, you know, it says something. It says something, yo. Because you know what? He's the trainer of Spence. And what's coming up next? What's coming up next, bro? This is my problem. Crawford said the fight ain't going to happen now. It's going to happen in 2020. So we already know the bullshit is starting all the way on that side already. It ain't happening now. So what's going to happen now, Crawford? What's going to happen now? A fight with Porter? Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. If you could fight Porter, then nigga, why you ain't fighting fucking Spence? Fuck Porter. Fuck Porter. I mean, if the fight happens, it happens. Okay? Because it's, it's still a whole year. But why you want to risk that when you could get the fucking gold, man? Get the Spence fight. Same thing I think about Pacquiao. Why you going to waste your time with Danny and, and what you call it? But see, strategically, I can see Manny Pacquiao doing that just to see if these two brothers going to fight. Okay? Because the way I see it, like I said, Spence go get that belt, bring it over here. Should it be easy? Manny don't have to deal with Bob Arum. Case closed. That's the way I feel with it. Okay? Even though if he have to, if, that, if Manny Pacquiao wants to be unified and that's his goal, okay, to be unified, or he just want to get those other two belts from Spence and then retire, fine. But if he wants to go for Crawford, the fight going to still be made because it's money for Bob Arum. Okay? He's going to have to pay Manny Pacquiao. Yes, that's the whole big deal right now, is he? But guess what? Manny Pacquiao brings numbers in. He's going to pay him, right? Do, Bob, do Crawford alone? I mean, Crawford, what is his numbers? I'm not dumb. I don't even want to talk about that number shit right now, okay? But because it doesn't matter how many numbers it is now because it's all unification. It's all unification fights for three champions. So all that shit is out the dope. Yay, right? So... You already have the bullshit already Crawford side because the breaking news that I heard from Blue Blood said, Crawford, I saw the interview with Crawford. He said, yes, we're going to have that fight in 2020. We're going to have that fight in 2020. Okay? But not right now. Bullshit talk. Why right not right now? We're in January. Okay? February, March, April, May, June. That's when Spence coming back. May, June. You got enough time, man. Somebody call somebody. But not right now. Why? That's bullshit talk. As soon as you say that shit, I don't care what the fans say. It's foolishness already on, on that. So I'm not talking about them no more. I'm not talking about Crawford no more. There's only a couple options here. Everybody's waiting for Pacquiao to see where he's coming up with next. Okay? He's coming back in March or April. Okay? So we're going to see what's going to happen. Danny Garcia, Mikey Garcia, they have fights going on right now. After that's done, I will suspect... They hear something coming up, okay? And I, it's either Manny Pacquiao is going to fight those one of those guys. Hopefully, he fights Danny, okay? But if he fights Mikey, like like we all discussed, Mikey don't deserve it. He ain't. He only had one fight with Spence. I understand that and stuff. But you know, <laughs> let me light up for this shit right here, because you ain't gonna like this. You know. The only reason I want to see that fight with Mikey, I'll give you the real reason, real reason why. To see who did the most damage to Mikey. Spence or Pacquiao? <laughs> That's the only thing. That's the only thing that interests me in that fight. Because now I got a little argument on my side. Because listen, 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 just listen. No, 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 nigga. Just calm down. Listen. I'm talking now. Nobody rambling over me. Your, 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 bark is, is, your bark is loud, but I can't hear you right now because I'm in control now, okay? I would like to see that fight just to compare it. 
Because Spence did say two things. He said, I'm going to show Mikey. I got the IQ up here to whip your ass, which he did. He whipped his ass. All the rounds, he whipped his ass. Okay? He could give a round here, there maybe, but he whipped his ass with the IQ. Thank you. Thank you, Spence, for doing that. But he also said that he wanted to knock out Mikey. But that didn't happen. He went to decision. Yeah, it did. Now, I want to see what Manny Pacquiao is going to do with Mikey. If that fight happened, I'd rather see Danny. But if that fight happened, Manny Pacquiao is still going to get his money. He's still going to get his numbers. He's just going to put ching ching next. And the year is, and the year is still young. The year is still young. So, if Mayweather come back, fight his MMA fighter, fine. At the end of the year, it's Manny Pacquiao versus Mayweather. If not, listen, Pacquiao is going to have to fight one of these champions, Crawford or Spence. And most likely, it's going to be Spence. And I've been saying this way back then that he's going to fight Spence. People will be laughing at me. <laughs> yeah, that nigga Doug Spence. Oh, you know what? He did Doug Spence. In my eyes, I don't see a duck. But everybody said... He was supposed to fight the winner of Mikey and Spence. He came in the ring and he didn't. He didn't. Fine. You know, I call that a strategic play. Yeah, because the way I see it, he had like a three fight deal, didn't he? With Al Heyman. He fought, he fought Brona, right? Um, Keith, he chose Keith. Yeah, he chose Keith, yo. He didn't fight Spence. He chose Keith. But guess what? Numbers talk, right? So, Keith is a champion. Spence is a champion. Regardless if you give me all the details about, well, he saw the weakest link. Like I said, in the jungle, the lion, when they hunt, the lioness, when they hunt, they ain't looking for a prime buffalo. They're looking for either a young buffalo a old buffalo that can't keep up with the pack, okay? The only time they go for a prime-ass buffalo is when they double-team in a prime-ass buffalo because a horn is going to get up on one of their asses, okay? They need to divert, okay? So this is, this, is, this is how it goes, yo. Keith Thurman, he was out. He came back. Manny Pacquiao is old. The playing field is pretty even. Okay, I explained this before in one of my other videos. The playing field is pretty even. What's the problem? He is old. Yeah, Keith was out, but he's young. Okay? And Keith gave him a pretty good fight, yo. Because at the end, he found the, he found the golden ticket. You're starting to feel it. You're starting to feel it, yo. You're starting to feel it. Let me ask you a question. You know what? Let me not bring that up. So, I'll bring that for another video. So, where I'm seeing is now, Derek James, Derek James. Watch what you say now, man. Because now somebody like me will look at that and be like, wow. Is Spence really ready for him? Is Spence really ready for Pacquiao? Because he still got shit in his gas tank, yo. Okay? And we all know Pacquiao is going to hit Spence. Okay? It ain't going to be no rollover in the park, yo. Oh, uh, Marquez, Marquez knocked out Pacquiao. Y'all dry. Y'all dry with that shit, yo. Y'all dry with shit. Manny Pacquiao got dro dropped three, knocked down three times. And he lost those three, first three losses was from knockdowns. Yes. Two. Then the other one was Marquez. And that took, that was a space in between, right? Okay, so he got back up. Guess what? 2010. He beat Margarito, made history, eight division champion. At the end of 2020, at the end of 2019, what did he do? End the fucking decade with another fucking belt. Okay? Whole 10 years. Not seven years, not five years, 10 years. All right, I'm done with that. I don't want to talk about that right now. Okay? I don't want to talk about that. I'm talking about what Derrick James said. So... The way I see it, since Derrick James' mind is programmed on Manny Pacquiao, and guess what? Manny Pacquiao's here. 
for his fighter now. Is this going to be some discrepancy between Spence and his trainer? We will see. And what I mean, not a discrepancy where they're going to argue and they're not going to get along. I mean, on who he should fight next. Should he take a tune-up? Should he fight his mandatory? Should he fight Pac next? Don't let, be, don't let your pride get you in the way, brother. Do the right thing. Because if your trainers say, get a tune-up, or you should do this, well, I understand you saying, you ready. What young man ain't ready, yo? What young man ain't ready? Come on. That's a young man, yo. He gonna be ready. But reasoning, reasoning, brother, if there's any bullshit going on, it's gonna either be, we already have Crawford bullshit already talking about, yeah, it's gonna happen, but not yet. Okay, so who you gonna fight? Somebody with another, a, 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 a last name with the whole alphabet in it? That's next. Or you gonna fight Porter? Well, if you could fight Porter, What's the sense? Fight Spence. Spence is open. Spence is open in May or June. Yeah? So what's the problem? Walls are closing in, yo. Walls are closing in. Yeah. And Derek James? I, I heard it all right there. He knows what's up with Pac. Or he's, on his opinion, he knows. And when he has an opinion, and the first person that came out of his mouth is Pacquiao, well, there's a lot to talk about in the camp when it comes to coming with Pacquiao and Spence. There's a lot to talk about. And it's either the trainer telling him, do this, and Spence is saying, no, I'm ready for this, or Derek James saying, agreeing with Spence, and Spence is just going to do what he got to do and train for the fight. Who knows? But sometimes I see shit, yo. When I hear shit and I see shit, sometimes it tells you way before the future happens, yo. So let's just check this shit out because Crawford's side and Bob Aaron's side is full of shit already, okay? Because that should be the fight first. That should be the fight next. But if they're waiting for Pacquiao to see where he's gonna head out, and and Spence is waiting for Pacquiao, then I understand it's a waiting game. It's a waiting game. But if Spence and Crawford don't fight. Or Spence does not fight Pacquiao and fight somebody else. Like I said, I don't mind him fighting a tune-up. That's it. That's it. Sometime now, in June. But at the end of the year, something got to go down. Something got to go down, okay? Because guess what? Guess what? What over Trump's mandatory? Champion belts. Unification. That Trump's mandatory. But the man said he doesn't need no tune-up. Let's see what happens, yo. Honestly. But this is what I'm saying. And this is what I'm seeing. And this is what I'm hearing. I want to see what's going to happen next. Listen. You got other channels to watch? I got shit to do. Smash the dislike light. Just smash the dislike button because you're not going to like me. Yeah.